Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get the hell out of here. What's the matter with you? Yeah.
God be with you. I have that cloth for you. Oh, excellent. Here's your reward. Good luck then. Do you have any work for me? Yes, I might have. It all depends if you like beer. Do you plan to send me for some, or to rob a brewery? I want the recipe. The landlord in Ushitz makes a brew that could earn a man a pretty sum of money. If only he had a mind to share it. But he doesn't. You'll go there and pinch his recipe. Although he can't read, he had the scribe write it down for him. But you'll have to hunt around for the sheet. I can't see you hanging up your miller's apron and starting to brew beer. But I'll bring you that recipe. Fine. Just don't be too long about it. Good luck, then.
I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I'm looking for some people you might know something about. Did they come here to drink? Maybe. But I won't aid you in any mischief. You haven't heard talk of any scoundrels in town? Well, I have heard some things. But I can't say if they're true or not. <laughs> There's some that talk just to hear the sound of their own voices. Yeah. And who's the most frequent topic of that kind of gossip? Miller Simon. They say he's rich with coin, and it's not from the mill. But that's nonsense. Folk just don't know how much a mill can earn. Anyone else? Aye, there's talk of the knacker giving people the evil eye, or then that's not in Bailiff's good graces. But I don't suppose that's what you want to know. I've heard some rough men come here looking to recruit. Have they ever stopped in to eat or drink, or to arrange something? There were some brawlers that used to fight behind the tavern, but they raised such a commotion, I went and complained, and a town watch drove them off somewhere. I wasn't thinking about that lot. I'm looking for recruiters that hire mercenaries and other cutthroats. I don't know about that. Every once in a while, a merchant will hire some help or an escort, but nothing more. Nobody comes here regular. I'd notice if they did. Do you happen to know where the brawlers you complained about moved on to? I've not got the slightest inkling. I'm just glad all the shouting stopped. It scared the horses in the stables. Thank you, innkeeper. Not at all. Would... Take care now. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Are you the local knacker? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me anti knacker in. Well, then you might know a lot of things that others don't. I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Oh, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to me. I don't even go to the tavern much these days. And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No. I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. They were scared it was some demon. But as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? 
What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and a bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Thank you. I'll be going now. Very well. Feel free to st God be with you. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hanka. Henry, how are you? What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes? Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. We can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well... Go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? 
What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you like. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat, some game, that would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that, out loud. They just nod their heads, but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg. A bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. <sighs> I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? I'll give it a go. It's not like I can make it any worse. <laughs> so you don't know anything? Don't even think about touching that poor man. What about the executioner from Ratai? He usually breaks bones, but he might know something about mending them too. The executioner? Even if you could persuade him to come, they'll never let him in here. Well, maybe it would be enough if he advised me and then I tried... Look, do whatever you want. I have to go and take care of the others. Take care. Philip, from Scalet. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. These wounds have been well taken care of. I'm not needed here. Yeah, where? You're not from Scalet? No, but please help. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well. And you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? What? What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can... And where can me and my wife go then? Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. 
When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse, and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And do you remember what the herbs I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. I'll try to find some. Thank you. Thank Good luck to you. Quiet! Everything here is fine. Christ above! What are you making such- A fuss? Hurts like fuck! And with everyone else- I actually have- Really? May the Lord watch over you. These wounds have been well taken care of. These wounds have been well taken care of. These wounds have been well taken care of. Humans wound you. <laughs> That's what I tell the late. Mm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. Well, that's no use. They. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell brother? I can do it myself. Um, I. A long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the. Well, fine. Take care. Huh? How are you feeling? Good. It will. Tell them to rebandage you daily. You have the bandages here. Thank you very much, Henry. Don't mention it. Take care now. Good luck to you. You're the one who's in charge of the... Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had... Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. 